Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to tell you guys an interesting fact about configuration management system. So, uh, suppose you have a form, any form, and uh, for this video, I am taking a famous module called reCAPTCHA, and it basically provides reCAPTCHA on your form. Form. So. This is a form and it is providing two fields. I can fill, the, uh, uh, fill these fields and save the button. Uh, and uh, there comes situation when we do not want to save the data or display the data uh, onto front end. And we do not want to save that data in the Git as well, version control system, code repository. So uh, then we choose to set these values through settings.php uh, we can simply go to the settings.php file and set our respective value uh, and uh, that should be the idle way of doing that and uh, once we do that the changes must reflect over here so let's do that and see uh, if the changes will come over here i am using settings.local.php here you can set the value in the settings.php file as well uh, so this is my setting dot local sorry yeah. so yeah so here I'm setting the core, uh, field value for this site AP, site key uh, with this uh, keyword like config uh, recapture setting site key and then the value uh, if I refresh it you would see it is not set here Am I doing something wrong? So I'll simply go and see if I am specifying anything wrong here as in the configuration name. So if I go uh, and open the form code of this form, this is actually the code of this form. And this is, yeah, this is the, that form is coming from here. And I should see the configuration name is correct. It is recapture.settings, correct. And the, uh, field value field machine name is also correct it is okay so it is not correct oh yeah it is also correct side key so uh, uh, i'm doing it correct and still it is not reflecting over here also if i can i can reset over here test test so it is test test and i'm again overwriting it with settings.php and it is not reflecting so i must be doing something wrong that is the first uh, thing which came into my mind but uh, the thing is with configuration management uh, configuration management in drupal uh, we can override obviously by setting the values respective values in the settings.php file but those values will not be reflected over here and those values will obviously uh, take priority over whatever we specify over here we can read uh, what is being provided in the drupal dot on drupal dot org official documentation you can see that uh, the overridden values via config in the settings.php file will not be viewable from drupal administration interface and there is an ongoing issue uh, call uh, which is here which which has been marked as needs work so until this issue will be fixed will we will not know if our values are overridden or not we will continue to see the old values saved in the database or configuration yaml file so but how if if even then if i want to see if my values are being overridden or not so there are there are few ways we can do that first way is to uh, use drush so i'll simply go and use drush um, and inside drush i just have to uh, i mean get the configuration by specifying the configuration name in our case it is recapture.settings uh, and then the extra option we have to specify called include overridden this will show me the values which are being overridden by settings.php file so you can see this value is test test over here let me override it here the cache
yes and i'll go i'm here also in specific test to test from settings dot setting dot php and let's do that again and see the value is coming from settings dot php file instead but i'm still seeing the test over here that is because of the same reason drupal administration or front end will not pick or show you the overridden values but at the time of applying it the overridden values from settings.php file will take priority but is there any way other than using drush to check on the respective forms that are values being overridden by the settings.php file yes there are few modules um, so one of those module is configuration overridden one i have this module already with me i'll just go simply and enable this module for you guys and config and you would see the module here no 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 that's not the module so config override one And if I go refresh it, you would see a warning here that your the values and which values are being overridden by setting.php file. But uh, this is showing me a value over here. And there comes a scenario where I, where I don't want to see the value at all. So there is another module called as config override inspector that will also show a warning, a message like this changes you make here will not take effect due to environment specific configuration uh, so these two modules can be used to uh, to know if the values of the respective form are being overridden by setting.php now uh, from this uh, uh, now uh, on this onwards i will be telling you about how uh, does these uh, respective module actually work the, the foundation and if we do not want to use these two modules and use our custom code how do we want to make sure that our value our respective form is being overridden or not uh, so i'll simply go and uninstall the module so this is going to be a pretty uh, this is going to be pretty dev oriented uh, so yeah okay so now i have installed the module and i am not seeing any warning here but now if i want to see how to show or if i want to code myself uh, or show this warning myself how would i do that so basically i can use this code you would understand basically so if i'm going to okay so let's do what let's let's uh, so there is a function called has override uh, this will tell me if the config has overrides or not in through the setting.php i'll simply go and kent both the objects the simply uh, simple config object and config has override function inside this yeah so it is telling me there is no override i'll simply open this uh, data uh, and in the data i can see it is picking test test and it is not picking what i have set in the settings.php file then i'll go and will use the immutable config object instead so i'll define the immutable config object through config factory and specify the same uh, config machine name and then let's let's kint this now this and this as overrides so let's see what it will show okay sorry let's save it okay 
yeah let's save it so you can see it is telling me there is the this uh, this the same config but different type of object is telling me that it has overrides now if i go i'll go and open this original data i will see the data we see on the front end which is either coming from database or from yml config files but we can also see the overrides setting overrides i can see in this uh, array call and you would see the overriding keys i'm, I'm passing in the settings.php so this type of object can i can use and you know these these modules are basically comparing the data from this immutable uh, mutable config object and config object and if there is any difference they'll simply show us the warning so that is how these modules are working thank you